Hey, how you doing? Justin back with you to answer what's been probably the most commonly asked question on my old beginners course, which is, when am I ready to move on to lesson two? That's a good question. Like when you go to one-on-one -on -one lessons, the guy, you go for your lesson, he says, well, you're doing this really well, you've got to keep practicing that, we're ready to move on. In, in land of internet, you have to self-assess. You have to decide when you're ready to move on, but I'm gonna give you some pretty clear guidelines. So before moving on to lesson two, you need to have memorized your A and D chord. So you know how to play the chords without having to look at a chart or a page. Your fingers know, you go D chord. Oh, that's this one there. A chord, yeah, that's that. There's only two, right? You need to have memorized those two chords. And you need to be able to change between them at 30 changes a minute or more. Okay, now the first few times 30 changes in a minute is gonna feel nigh impossible. But after a couple of weeks, that's quite an achievable target. Ideally, we wanna get up to 60 changes a minute, but not in the first week. So 30 is a really good amount to get to. If you get to the point though, where you're like, you're at 22 changes or 25 changes, and you've been on it for a couple of weeks, three weeks maybe, and you're like, oh, I'm just get, starting to get bored of this, move on. Okay, so even if you haven't accomplished all of the stuff that I've set, like you've gotta learn this before you move on, if you're getting bored, and you want some new food, then move on to the next lesson. It's got to stay fun. This guitar thing, there's so many people drop out early because they get bored or they didn't practice the right stuff or their fingers hurt, and it's all unnecessary. If you're, bored, if you're like, I'm not enjoying the guitar, I need some new stuff, learn some new stuff. But I would recommend that you've got your A chord and your D chord memorized, that you've got 30 changes in a minute, and that you've struggled your way through a song a couple of times. There's no more... You, it's not more complicated than that, really. For first lesson, I just want you have to have had a go at playing a song, so you're aware of the importance of the chord changes and all of that, that you've got some chord changes down, you've memorized a couple of chords. Actually, it should be, for most of you, achievable in maybe two to four weeks, I would say, four weeks at the maximum. If you're still on four weeks, maybe move on to the second lesson anyway. I would recommend if you've got any doubts about it to go and watch my left-handed lessons for the final one of the f lesson one series. I think it's, I did four on the first week for my for that series. Maybe I did five, four or five. Watch the, whatever the last one is and you'll see me sign myself off and go, yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm ready for the next lesson. So if you're at that kind of level, then you're ready for the next lesson too. Hopefully I'll see you for that very soon. Bye-bye.